easy keto tiramisu. Let's go. The first step to a tiramisu is making sure that you have lady fingers for your sponge cake layer. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a tiramisu without a mold. If you do have a mold, however, I'm going to show you how it turns out with the mold as well. They both turn out fabulous. In the description box is a list of ingredients with two sets of measurements. And to start off, set your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 Celsius and melt two and a half tablespoons of butter. Then do grease and line a six and a half by six and a half inch or 16 by 16 centimeter container or similar size and set that aside. Add a half a cup of almond flour to a bowl, then a pinch of salt, a half teaspoon of baking powder, one and a half tablespoons of powdered sweetener, a quarter cup of cream, the two and a half tablespoons of melted butter that should be now room temperature and one egg. Whisk that all together until you have a smooth batter. If you aren't using a mold, add all of the batter to your container, smooth it off, then bake for about 10 minutes and let it cool. If you do have a mold, add about one and a half tablespoons of the batter to each casing, smooth it off and bake for about 10 minutes, the same amount of time. You need a little coffee to flavor the sponge cake or lady fingers, so add a teaspoon of coffee to a cup and add 150 ml of boiling water, stir and set that aside. This is the mascarpone cheese I will be using today. It's perfect because it's already soft and smooth and the macros are really great for keto. When you're buying your mascarpone cheese, you want to try and look for the smooth one and also check that the macros are good for keto. If you find that your mascarpone is lumpy, you are going to need to smooth it out before you add it to the ingredients. Let's make the mascarpone cream and it's super easy, you'll see. Add the mascarpone to a bowl, then add a quarter cup of powdered sweetener, two eggs at room temperature and whisk that all together. That's it. Look how gorgeous and smooth it looks. Once the sponge cake has cooled, you want to cut it in half sideways like this. And using the same container you bake the sponge cake in, add one half, then sprinkle the coffee liquid onto the sponge cake so that the whole cake has changed color. But also don't add too much so that the coffee is seeping out of the sponge cake. If you have made lady fingers, dip each one quickly into the coffee and arrange it into the container so that it forms the first layer. Next, add half of the mascarpone cream and spread it so that it covers the cake. And we will repeat these two layers, add the remaining sponge cake or lady fingers, sprinkle with coffee so that it changes color or dip each lady finger into the coffee quickly and arrange in the container to form a layer. Then add the last half of the mascarpone cream and smooth that off. Lastly, sprinkle cocoa powder so that it covers the entire dish. Cover and refrigerate for at least three hours or overnight. And now to show you the results. Now somebody asked me about three weeks ago to create an easy tiramisu recipe and it's taken me that long to refine it and to make it easy and hopefully it is so for you. I hope you get to try it. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and be well.